The data in the first column is the categorical variable G type T, where T indicates that it is the text description of the particular categories. And in this, we have 200 observations of four different categories. Little a, b, little a, capital B, capital A, small b, and capital A, capital B. And we wish to test whether or not these observations have been selected randomly in a ratio of 1 to 3 to 3 to 9. And to do that, we will use the chi-squared goodness of fit test, which we can access through tables, chi-squared goodness of fit. Within this test, our data is in the form of categorical data, so we select categorical data, and we enter the variable G type T. We must then define the ratios against which we wish to test this data. Equal proportions is not appropriate. And under specific proportions, we would have to enter the proportions adding up to one. Or alternatively, we can add proportions specified by historical counts, which we can use in this instance. And these would either be entered through an input column, or we can input the constants themselves. So we select input constants. And then for each of these categories, we can put a historical count which represents the ratio we're looking for. So that would be 1 to 3 to 3 to 9. And we can then run the analysis. The results appear in the session window where we can see for each category we are given the observed value, the historical count which we entered, which is converted into an expected proportion with the four proportions adding up to one. This then calculates the expected number. So we have an observed and an expected number, which for each category allows the calculation of a contribution to the chi-squared value. And then these four contributions to chi-squared add up to a total chi-squared value, from which it is possible to calculate the p-value for the test of 0 0.140. Because this p-value is not less than 0 0.05, we will accept the null hypothesis that this data could have been obtained randomly in a ratio of 1 to 3 to 3 to 9. It is also possible that we may already have the data in a summarized format. So, for example, the variable G type T1 just identify the names of the four categories. And the column frequency gives the frequency with which each category has been observed. We can still perform the analysis in Minitab directly using this data. We go back to stat, tables, chi-squared goodness of fit. Only this time our data is of observed counts. So we click observed counts and the relevant data is under frequency of counts but we can also give the names of the different categories, which will be under G type T1. But the rest of the entry in this dialog box remains the same as before. So we can quite simply run the analysis and the results appear in the session window again, giving exactly the same output table as before and with the same output p-value of 0 0.140, for which we do not reject the null hypothesis.